Wesley, you came in, you said, I like your tie. I say, I like your chest. <laughs> I mean, your chest is really, really nice. And today you had a clear strategy. Let's make a draw. Don't take any oh, wow. risks in the classical chess. Play some rapid. And that 10 plus 5 portion, I have to say, you're yeah. a master of that. I think, uh, well, yeah, I mean, the most important match was one from like three, four days ago, mm. where, uh, where, where I, when I was still in the winner's bracket. But it is what it is. I mean, I wanted to play the classical game today, but there was simply no time to prepare any good ideas. Any good novelties, With yeah. the opening, yeah, also. The game yesterday was very taxing mentally. But it felt like from the match that you just mentioned as being the most important, the first uh, encounter between you and Hikari, you took some information from yeah. that. You understood that in 10 plus 5, you can outplay him. Did you feel like that? And was that part of the strategy? No, well, the champion's bracket was important because I didn't realize there was an extra 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> I only found that out yesterday. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I just, uh, as long as I'm determined, as long as there's a chance, I'll try to take my chance and play my best chess. I mean, I think Hikaru is still, you know, relatively the favorite in, in 10 plus 5 or in Rapid. But uh, as long as I can put up a good fight, then I'm happy with that. Guys, join the conversation. Absolutely. Well, first of all, uh, Wesley, uh, well done. I mean, you did what you had to do. Uh, you extended the match for tomorrow. Yeah, make so, it work. <laughs> yeah, day, yeah. Right? Thank you, you very much it. for that. By <laughs> the way, we were, we were talking about the prize fund there. and We were thinking, this is such a nice tournament. Yeah. Having you guys play just for the honor <laughs> of the event. Not necessarily for the, for the prize for the money. Honor. I mean, and, and, and the commentators you know, are going what, to split the purse. Uh, but what about your cash bird? <laughs> <laughs> Birthday I, cash fund. I, I wanted to ask you about the second game and when you found the move Bishop F3. Uh, it, Christian, if you could bring that position to the, to, to, to the board and just uh, share with the viewers your thoughts at exactly that moment. Because we thought the move Bishop F3 was simply outstanding. Well, I thought, first of all, in the opening, I thought I was fine, but maybe bishop g4 was inaccurate, and then I missed queen a4. I'm not sure what's happening there. But, um, yeah, when he played, when I played uh, knight e4, I already had lots of ideas with bishop f3 present. Like, if knight takes, mm -hmm. maybe rook takes, knight f5, and... Take uh, on h4? Uh, take on e4. Take on e4. With the rook. Ah, with the rook. Maybe pawns also fine, but take with the rook, knight f5, and then here I was already looking at bishop f3 or queen g5. Mm -hmm. but very then, nice, very nice move. Yeah, but then as he was thinking after knight f5, my first intention was queen g5 on, on the game. During the game, yes. During the game. Right. If you take on... No, instead of bishop f3. Oh, instead of bishop f3. My first intention of queen g5, but he's got the move f3, which is really got annoying, it. breaking. And this was uh, still a very nice move, bishop to f3. I have to say we were all very yeah, impressed. Yeah, I wasn't sure what, if it works or not, but I didn't want to... It did it work. Did. I yes. didn't want to wait a slow death and get outplayed. <laughs> I was already down the clock, so I thought, play bishop f3. See. Wesley, congratulations. Big match victory for you. We'll see you tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah, thank you.